Hey, welcome to the Sandridge Energy Studios at Apubco. This is News OK TV for Tuesday, March 20th, 2012. I'm Dave Morris, your talking head for today. This is a look at some of the stories, videos, and headlines you can find on News OK. All right. Oklahoma educators and parents are voicing their concerns about a proposed school grading system. Nearly 75 superintendents, teachers, and parents talked to the Education Department's legal team on Tuesday morning. The new system would give each school and district a grade of A through F. The grading scale would replace federal requirements of the No Child Left Behind. There is some fear the proposed system could drive more teachers from the state and hurt business development. Teachers and parents were also concerned the scale doesn't give enough schools and districts the chance to earn a high score. The Department of Education will vote on the measure on March 29th. There is a chance for showers and thunderstorms Tuesday afternoon in the state. Forecasters say Oklahoma City could see more rain and storms after 1 p.m. Expect those highs to be in the upper 60s. Now the wet weather could remain through Thursday in the state. and Expect those highs to also be in the 60s. Friday should be mostly sunny with mild temperatures, but we could see temperatures in the 80s by the weekend. The Oklahoma City Planning Commission will hear a proposed a proposal to move the bus operations from the Union bus station to a spot east of Bricktown. Owners of Greyhound are eyeing a closed restaurant at 1948 East Reno for the new hub. The group says the vacant building provides an independent site for bus operations adjacent to the highway. With a new elementary school set to be built across the street from the bus station and redevelopment of the surrounding area, civic leaders have long supported moving the operations to a new location. Airline passengers could soon use their electronic devices during takeoffs and landings. The FAA is exploring whether there are practical ways to test devices to see if they're safe to use during the critical phases of the flight. Starbucks is branching out beyond the coffee bean. The corporation opened its first Evolution Fresh juice bar in Washington State on Monday. The move is aimed at boosting the company's position in the health food sector. Peyton Manning will sign with the Denver Broncos. Manning and the Indianapolis Colts parted ways earlier this year, and after being pursued by teams around the NFL, the quarterback decided to head west. The contract with the Broncos could make Denver an instant Super Bowl contender, and the biggest question now facing the Broncos is, of course, what to do with Tim Tebow, who has three years left on his contract. Families are invited to a live concert on April 1st, yes, no fooling, featuring songs from Walt Disney movies. Kids 12 and under are invited to wear their favorite character costumes, and the parents can too, I guess while listening to performances by OU students. The show coincides with an, exhibit, an exhibition of Disney animation cells. Pretty cool. Alright, again, stay with News OK for the latest news and information. President Obama is expected in the state on Wednesday and Thursday, and we will have complete coverage of that. We have Cruz and Cushing today advancing his, uh, his speech in Cushing and Stillwater on Thursday. So, have a great day everyone. Stay on top of that weather. You never know, it could rain at any moment. And again, stay with News OK for the latest. See ya.